Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, we're going to rig a low-poly T-Rex model in Blender. I'll guide you through each step, from setting up the rig to making sure everything moves just right. By the end, you'll be able to rig your own low-poly T-Rex with confidence. Let's jump into it! First, I started by positioning the rig so it fits perfectly with the shape of the T-Rex model. Next, I adjusted the bone axes to make sure they align correctly with the T-Rex's body. This step ensures that when the model moves, the bones move as expected.
organization is key. I meticulously named each bone to maintain clarity throughout the rigging process and beyond. I placed the 3D cursor at the center of the T-Rex, then used the Symmetrize tool by pressing F3 to mirror the rig across the model. This saves a lot of time and ensures symmetry. Now I parented the bones to the T-Rex model. I did this by selecting Control plus P and choosing Set Parent with Automatic Weights. This connects the bones to the model and sets up the basic rigging. I noticed that the bottom teeth weren't properly connected to the mouth. To fix this, I selected the teeth, went to the vertex groups, and assigned them to the mouth to group. To improve control over the T-Rex's movements, I added IK, inverse kinematics, bones. These bones help in creating more natural and flexible animations.
Finally, let's add some personality. I colored each bone to distinguish different parts of our rig visually. This not only looks great, but also aids in quick identification during animation. And there you have it. By following these steps, you've learned how to rig a low-poly T-Rex from start to finish. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Blender tutorials and tips. Until next time.